Welcome everybody, welcome. My name is Darth Joker Cuttermore the DJC and today we are finishing the siege of Paris. We have to go see Noel Wen, the smuggler, to get us into the palace. It's the easiest way, it is the best way. We need to get in there, we need to talk to her, and we need to get through this. Also, today is brought to you again by Techaware. Techaware has the greatest Viking and Samurai for today's Viking Samurais. Their gear is the best. Check them out. Link in the description. Also, if you type in L-E-W-I-F 30, the number 30, you will get 30% off. Um, you will get 30% off. Sorry, I kind of walked into a battle there. I apologize, guys. You get 30% off your entire order. Might be the way to go. Just we will get a little bit off. All right, we got to find Newland. But where is she? Let's check the map real quick. Let's see what the world map says. I'm sorry, I was doing all that speaking and my mic was off. Today is brought to you by TechAware, TechAware.com. A link in the description to get yourself some of the coolest gear that I can, you know, that I can honestly tell you is worth the price. Um, not only that, with TechAware, if you use my code in the description, Lou M30. I'm sorry. Lou I F Lou if Lou if 30. You will get 30% off. And getting money off on any purchase is never a bad idea. So 30% off your total order for the day, also. Ooh, that's uh, that was horrendous. I'm trying to find Newland, but I'm not sure where to go. Oh, that stopped me. That's not fair. So we're going to continue to look for Newland. I found Newland. Where's that Toka? It's Newland, I found her. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. The slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Charles is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, this army comes. 
Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toka and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. Hopefully by doing this, by following her, it will end... It'll end this a little fast. That's what we are trying to do. Uh, especially me. I, I don't... We're not trying to... I don't... Siegfried went too far in our last episode and it's not something that I can forgive or something that I can let go. That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Nolwen. I will save what I can of my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed, Evo. A safe journey to you, too. God's here, I'm vigilant. top of the pot but I did I got stuck on top of the pot can get down I feel like if I break these there's gonna be something hidden that I need to find maybe a key or something or nothing at all okay here we go into the kingdom or into the palace I just put that man's head in a bird bath. Do you want to be the next one? I will rip you up. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior. Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Now that I'm inside the palace. I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. 
Odo's priest might lead me to Odo, but I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. We? Come on, let's go drink. <coughs> Don't mind if I... Along. Guess I run out of meat. Bring me drink! I want drink! 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 I am unquenchable. Guards in this hallway. I must tread with care. Oh, thank you for the delicious meal. More importantly, thank you for the reward afterwards. And uh, it's please ensure Walter well Dusan's conf confronts her in these dark comforts her in these dark hours when he delivered the last rites. Ooh. Not totally sure what just happened there, but okay. So, I can go into the Queen's Chamber and try and help her out. This guy down here has a key, so I'm thinking he's one of the ones I gotta go see real quick. He's gonna have one of two keys here. To one of the locked doors upstairs. Hang on. find out. Hopefully it's a key to the Queen's Chamber. That's what I'm hoping. No, it is not. So this key goes to this door then? My guess would be this door. No, it does not. Okay, that's not the key to either one. Time to find the kitchen. Even though there are some more notes scattered along here. Good assassination there. Magpie minutes. Monsieur Butler, I'm asking with rage those infernal magpies are defecating on our guests. Climb up to the rafters and burn out the nest. The branches and twigs are dead. Give away. It's heaven's name. Even blackbirds living in the king's pot. Oh, my lady. Why the count will... Me. Oh, here's somebody important. I'm not sure who she is. No, this is for Lady Theodora, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? Ahila, from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if he can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. 
The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn that Odo, and that pathetic Walter du Sens, too drunk to give last rites. A travesty that one is. Dark days are upon us, but with heavens that we shall shine through, let us do our part in the coming battle. If it means baking the finest meal, Lady Ordo, Lord Ordo, Ordo, Lord Odo, or Lady Theodred has ever eaten, then that's what we should do. Let our goodly labor and craft show the appreciation ways just reign the godly way. Priest, the priest will take us to order his wife's room. Yeah, that should work, right? What do I have left? Blue eyes. Nothing. All right. I know where I'm going. This will do it right here. Pardon me, father. Where's Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all. Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? Oh, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, oh, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh! Heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom. I have the key. I'm gonna open this door too, just to be on the safe side. Fast entrance and egress, I suppose. We must be careful now. Okay, so that's probably where Odo is. I thought... I thought that would have been a faster... His wife's chambers, but I, I guess not. So we're gonna go through this door and around the long way. After I read this. I am so amazed and at a loss to describe the things I've witnessed. I must write plainly as I can so that those who come after this awful day will know that there is a God in heaven still. I watched from the city walls as the invaders set fire to the bridge. The very earth groaned as a dark pall covered the sky and hid the clouds. Brave Ebbles took up his axe in the name of God and stood alone against the horde. He fell, struck down by a cruel northerner, and Paris fell with him. The guards on the towers wept to see it. The young men and the old groaned and cried out. Mothers tore and snatched at their hair pulling out their own locks from the women mad with grief bared their breasts <laughs> and struck at them with their fists others scratched their cheeks adding blood to the, their tears suddenly above them a single voice cried have mercy O Germain on us your luckless children for a moment there was perfect stillness of heaven itself paused to listen and all joined in a single lamination the ramparts resounded with the name of Germain on each tower, the warriors and the highborn who led them shouted. The whole city swelled with echoes, and the people cried out in one accord, Our demand, hear our cry, help us, your steadfast servants. Interesting. Is that you, Odo, my love? 
No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? I'm gonna give her less, right? She is dying. Uh, yes, I am the priest, your lady Ness. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter Dusson. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must, uh, for children's sake, for Paris, for Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. But slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. That is sad. That's so sad. What good are our debts, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <gasps> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate, priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. 
We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back? Bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norda! Leave her back! Demands one of us dies. Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. Fight! I see a flag of truce. Sigford and Charles will hold Pale. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Very interesting turn of events there. I was not expecting that at all. I really was. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce. But a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye, and you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy.
I don't want to say take the king's money, but I don't want to say Charles cannot be trusted. You can't trust Charles. I dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift, and in return, we give you peace. <clears throat> Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend. And protect the land and who are Abel and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Mommy. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day. But I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I don't know if I want to start a war. I do. I cannot handle with a boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over, Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. I do not trust Charles the Fat. One way or the other, he's going to betray me. I know this. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their God that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull!
Something isn't right. Something isn't right. Racing against pigs. <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? You are fast, Eivor, but I will catch up soon enough. <laughs> Try. As long as I don't keep tripping over these stupid chickens and all these guys in the way. <laughs> I mean, sure. Ah, I think I got this one though, guys. Sorry. You guys tried. Let's try. Good job, trying. Pretty sure I got this one. <laughs> Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Maybe you should put down that ale prow for a time. Without doubt. But that time has not yet come. <laughs> She's super drunk. You are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric. But a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It is not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. Ah, Eivor! Here is something even you have never done. Tossing Good food beer. for sport. Cheese throwing. The most punstier than Charles himself. You <laughs> enjoy yeah. this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Come on! 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 Come on!
Oh, need to throw harder than that. Bravo, Evor. Good throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned a prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell, what else should I know? I could tell you, or I could show you. In return, I could also show you a few tricks of the Frankish persuasion. I will have to repay the favor then, with my own set of skills. Shall we find some place quiet then, away from this rabble? Lead the way. Only because certain things happened did you get some stuff from. That was... nice. It was. I hope you know... Well, Eivor, you know how I am. I indulge in the finer things in life. Various fine things, in fact, and... <laughs> Pierre, we both know what this was. Then, good. Is this something they do often, where you are from? I think I might like it there. <laughs> Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Something was definitely amiss with our good friend Siegfried. And we will find out what that is in the next episode. Thank you very much, ladies, gentlemen, Vikings and Wolves. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you guys in the next video.